You're looking at the start of the European session. A couple of big themes to focus on. We are waiting to see Deutsche Bank and how its trades in the session today after softening up in New York trade yesterday. No action, of course, for that stock here in Europe as the DAX was shut yesterday. The other big theme is the FTSE, where the 7,000 is the handle we breached today. And we haven't revisited that level since May 2015. So big focus for markets as we see a little bit of green pop up on this chip on the stock strip 600. And let's delve into the individual sectors and see where the balance is. On Wall Street yesterday, we did see a bit of a retreat and real estate utilities, some of the real defensive but yield seeking areas have been hit of late. Uh, in terms of what we're seeing across these charts, media at the top, we've got chemicals at the bottom. So a bit of a mix up and what usually makes it onto these boards. In the chemical sector, the likes of Bayer, BASF uh, trading weaker this morning down about a third of a percent. Technology also opening up on the back foot, food and drink only just below the flat line. Bit of, bit of a mixed picture in that basket. The likes of Danone in negative territory, but Diageo gaining this morning. Construction uh, with a negative bias, but that's about it. So you can chase the green from that point. Financials trying to nudge higher in the early part of the session. Banks also just holding a grip on positive territory. Industrials, about a tenth higher. The firmer ones today are oil and gas. You're still getting some positive comments from OPEC with Iran urging other producers to sign up to cuts two tenths higher in the overall stocks. Basic resources bouncing a tenth led by Glencore and Rio Tinto. Media stocks though right at the top with Vivendi, the top performer bouncing 2%. Let's check on the FTSE and see whether it's done. We only needed a 17 points. So let's see whether we've gotten there. There we go, 7,004. We've reclaimed the seven handle. We've got a bounce of 20 points or about a third of a percent. Uh, being so close, you'd think we'd have to challenge 7,000, but just a bit of background. We took a while even to, to push to these levels. We oscillated around 6,900 for a while. In fact, the market was not that comfortable with the level above 6,900. And the catalyst really has been the weakening of the pound to get us to these levels and you've seen in trade this morning a further drift south all this on the back of talk about the timeline for brexit so there has been a catalyst for this market to bounce in session i want to push on to what we're seeing across the uh, other european markets so the european indices this morning if we can take a look at uh, how the individual bourses are trading we've in contrast to this four tenths now that we've got on the FTSE a slight increase on the french market not much to write home about Drifting south on the Zetradax, uh, down about two tenths, and some slight gains on the periphery. The uh, Swiss market uh, hugging the flat line with a slightly negative bias.